Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about the morning work boxes that I use with my students. So I always store these work boxes in scrapbooks. Each student has their own scrapbook and it just makes it easier if I'm ever off or you know I'm caught up with a parent or there's a reason that I'm going to be late to class, then my staff know exactly what they should be doing with each of my students. So in this box I always start with a mini schedule. So I also keep two different ones on the back, just in case the student wants to know what happens after morning meeting and we move them along. So it's just a great way to keep my students on task. Obviously, you know, you can use a first and then board if your students aren't at that level. This current student is at this level, so he just uses a mini timeline. I also use a I am working for chart. So this student is working for a train and he will gain a star reward after each piece of work is completed by him. Now this is a morning workbook so I've used this as an example one just because of data protection with the students names and faces. So this is what my students work on first when they sit down for one to one work. So they will put their photo here and they will write their name here. Now, once they've started recognising themselves, I'll cut this into two, into four, so they can build up a jigsaw themselves as well. We also choose feelings, so they have a choice between happy, sad, tired, angry, feeling sick. We try and get them to work on a range of different feelings and emotions to get them used to them as well. And staff can do this with them as well, you know, how do you feel? I feel really sad today because of X, Y, Z. So we're always leading by example and sort of showing them about those feelings as well. Then we talk about what day it is. So today is Tuesday and we will go through this in our group greeting and our breakfast as well. So students are exposed to what day it is. But of course, you know, they can also ask us and there's a way that they can interact with us as well. What month is it? So again, this is just about getting students to recognise, you know, times of year, different months. And again, we go through all this in morning greeting. So it just helps us to see if our students are paying attention in morning greeting and what they're taking away from that as well. Then we discuss the weather. So I encourage all my students to look out the window or if they can't see, you know, go and stand outside. How's the weather? And we generally have an option between sunny, raining, cloudy, stormy or snowing and in the winter all the students they really want snowing so we can get a few hopeful children who are put in snow but it doesn't often snow and after weather this leads on to dressing the boy or the girl you can choose which option and it comes with a range of clothes so it comes with clothes suitable for sunny weather, clothes for cold weather or to wear in the rain so it just helps them understand a little bit more about that important life skill of what they should be wearing in what types of weather. And finally, the schools. So where do they go to school? Again, it's just about helping improve their life skills, recognising where they go to school. And we generally use a picture here of the school and the students put the picture here in the box. Now, once my students have finished their morning binder, we do tend to do some sort of adaptive book. Right now, he is working on you know, life skills adapted books and we're working on how to wash my hands. And you know, it's really, first I go to the sink and I turn the tap on. Well, he's going to the sink first, he'll just move that there. Next, I squirt some soap onto my hands. Again, he'll just move soap to here. So it's just a great way for him to work on those important life skills and get him to become more independent. We'll also have some form of activity book. And right now, Jessica is working on her alphabet and as you go through here, as you can see, there's just different activities for each letter of the alphabet. So she's already completed some and it's things like, you know, putting the candles on the cake. She's counting the fleet and the bees, the honey, putting apples on the tree. So it's a great way for them to work on their alphabet skills as well. And in here we also have the reward chart. So he really likes dinosaurs, so he collects a bone for his dinosaur reward chart after each activity that he completes or if he's done something really well, you know, you can choose how you want to give these reward charts out. So that is my morning work box. If you have any questions about it, you want to know more about how we implement this, you know, if you want to make it a little bit easier for your students, a little bit more difficult for your students, let me know.